Josh, could you read this label and tell me how much food I'm supposed to give Esther? Well, this is sterno. <laughs> so I guess it depends on how long you'd like her to burn. <laughs> Why don't you just get some glasses? Shh. I have a pair. I just don't want Riley to see me in them. Isn't it bad enough that he found a gray head before I had a chance to get at it with the Sharpie? <laughs> Oh, um, just so you know, I won't be home for dinner tonight. I gotta check out a used car I found online. Oh, can't you do that another time? It's been two weeks since you've had a home-cooked meal. The frozen lasagnas are gonna expire. I'm sorry, Mom, but this is the only car I can afford right now. Everything else is out of my reach. Including the brake pedals. <laughs> Mom, I met this girl at school. Her name's Becca. She invited me to have dinner at her house. Oh, a new buddy. Now you'll have somebody to talk to behind the refreshment table at school dances. It is so cute how you pretend to know what the inside of a school dance looks like. Bye, sweetie. Have a good day. You know, I don't really know why I care whether you have dinner with us or not. You kids are always bickering. What happened to our tight-knit family? Well, you divorced Dad, went through midlife crisis, shacked up with a guy young enough to be... Rhetorical! <laughs> Morning, friend. Morning. Oh! You wonder why I don't want to eat around here. <laughs> uh, so, can you believe it? What? It's our first anniversary. Oh, our first anniversary. Of what? Franny, one year ago today, I moved in and joined your family. Oh, of course. I remember that. No, I thought that you were talking about the time that we were at, uh... Oh, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, babe. It's just a silly thing to remember anyway. Mm. <laughs> hey, listen, if four dozen roses show up later, it's only because I love Fridays. Oh, okay. okay. See you later. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> Hi, Meryl. It's cousin Fran. I forgot our anniversary. Ugh, I feel so guilty. I'm a terrible person. I forget, but he remembers. You know, that's just the kind of guy that Riley is. I mean, he's very romantic. I mean, he remembers the first date we ever had and the anniversary of the first time we slept together. Which is a little bit of a cheat because that was the same night. <laughs> Why is it you do stuff like that and you get a boyfriend? I do stuff like that and I get banned from Shea Stadium. I feel awful. I mean, this is the day we decided to commit to each other. How can I forget? Even my ex-husband, Ted, remembered our anniversary. Every year, like clockwork, he would have whatever secretary he was doing buy me something beautiful. Well, it's Riley's own fault. He could have dropped you a hint. Like when I was getting ready to ask Dennis for a divorce, I started saying things like, Dennis, maybe you should put all your stuff in a suitcase. No, he shouldn't have to drop me a hint. I should have remembered. Mm. That's like having to tell somebody to compliment you on your new blouse. Mm. <laughs> That's mm. like having to tell someone to compliment you. Oh, my God, is that your new blouse? It's gorgeous. Forget it. I'm sorry, I'm a terrible cousin. Look, you gotta do something to make it up to him. You know what? I'm gonna do something that I haven't done since the night he moved in. I thought you said that grossed you out. <laughs> I meant cook. I know. <laughs> what are you gonna make? Lobster tetrazzini, just like I made on the first night. You're telling me you put two live creatures in a pot of boiling water? You know, it wasn't so hard when you name one Ted and one you cheating bastard Ted. <laughs> What's all this? Happy anniversary. Mm. 
I'm making lobster tetrazzini, remember? <laughs> yeah, but what's even better is that you did. We have the house all to ourselves. And all we're gonna do is eat? <laughs> we'll eat first. <laughs> Sit down in your chair, I'm gonna bring you some champagne. No, you know, you cooked all day. I'm gonna serve you. Oh, that is so sweet. The last man that waited on me was a waiter. <laughs> hey, Mom, I'm home for dinner. Are you happy now? No. This is my friend, Becca. Hi. Oh, how do you do? I, I thought you were having dinner at Becca's house tonight. Well, we would have, but it's not a good night at Becca's house. Yeah, my mother just lost her estrogen patch, and Dad won't come out of the bathroom until she gets a new one. <laughs> I told her you'd be completely cool with us eating here. I mean, especially after that gigantic guilt trip you sent me on this morning. Oh, sweetie, I know. I'm Champagne sorry. Champagne with <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, that's Riley, my mom's boyfriend. <gasps> I like the way you roll. <laughs> hey, guys. Mom, what's for dinner? Uh, too many people. <laughs> Your brother's a babe. So is he gonna take his shirt off, too? Hey, kids, here's money. All three of you, go to the food court, buy food. Well... <laughs> It's a little awkward. Oh, Riley, this is my friend Becca. Good to see you again. Yeah, you'll probably be seeing me around here a lot. <laughs> well, kids, you know, ordinarily, we would love to have you for dinner, but it turns out that Riley and I are celebrating our one-year anniversary, so get lost. Fran, why don't we all just celebrate as a family? Go ahead, sit down, guys. Oh. All right, well, I guess I'll go to for some lasagnas. <laughs> Doorbell! Oh, honey, I'm sorry, but it's not my fault. I told the kids that they should have dinner with us more often, and they picked tonight to listen to me. I'm sure it'll never happen again. Hey, I'm feeding you people. Can you get the freaking door? <laughs> Franny, it's okay. It'll still be special. Just as long as we have dessert in private. Oh, but I didn't make dessert. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are bad. <laughs> oh, you are bad. <laughs> You're dead. Oh, Daddy just dropped off my laptop. I invited him to stay for dinner. Hope it's okay. Hello, you two. Come on, join us, why don't you? Ted, Ted, that champagne is for Riley's and my anniversary. Mm. And it is delicious. <laughs> well, what do you know? It's older than your boyfriend. <laughs> Why don't we just go out for dinner? I mean, I cooked this meal. How good can it be? <laughs> By the way, that's Riley's seat. It's okay, Fran. Oh, seems like once again I've gotten somewhere before you. <laughs> So, Josh, how do things go at the video store today? Sell any goobers? Dad, I know you're disappointed in me for dropping out of medical school, but, hey, I can still follow in your footsteps. Like, when I have a son, I'll coach his soccer team and call him Tinkerbell. <laughs> so, Josh, how's the car search going? Uh, great. I located a 68 Mustang online. $5,000. Does it snap together, or do you use glue? It said it's in mint condition. You should let me check it out. I've got experience with an older used drive. Well, I just eat. <laughs> Thank you, Riley, but I don't need my mom's boyfriend to help me pick out a car, you know? <laughs> I'm a grown man. Incidentally, I need my bar mitzvah money. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I didn't spend it. <laughs> Beck and I want to go to this anime movie tomorrow night, so I was thinking maybe we could make it a girls' night. Oh. You know, you could buy the tickets and then, like, <laughs> leave. What's that about? Oh, um, I don't know. It's called Ghost Lover. It's a cartoon. It's not just a cartoon. I read about it. It's like Casper. 
Only he's anatomically correct and can do it through walls. Oh, so many kids from school are going. Well, then the other kids can tell you all about it. Oh, nonsense. She's old enough. I'll take her. Fran, I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, it's okay. I mean, her father's gonna chaperone her. It's just a cartoon. She'll be all right. <clears throat> she got through a little mermaid without injury. Well, oh, thanks, Daddy. Well, then I guess that's settled. Oh, Riley, don't worry. You can go too. Fran will get the tickets. One child, one senior. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell! What the devil just spilled on my leg? Oh, good girl, Lester. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Good night. Well, wait a minute. You haven't had your dessert yet. I guess I'm not in the mood. We'll talk about it in the morning. What? Why? Oh, that is so Gentile of you. You really want to know what my problem is? Yes, I do. Tonight, you basically told the whole family I have no more say around here than the new dog. What are you talking about? Who am I around here, Fran? It's not my house. These aren't my kids. Ted comes in, I don't even have a chair. You know, before I moved in here, I had a life. I wasn't just mom's boyfriend, as Josh calls me. It's better than the himbo doing the mommy limbo. He really said that. Oh, that was really kind of part of his song. <laughs> Well, if it bothered you so much, why didn't you say something? You know, what is it with you people from the Midwest? You keep everything locked inside. No wonder your arteries are popping left and right. I spoke up, Fran. I said Allison shouldn't go to the movie. You totally ignored me. Oh, that had nothing to do with you. It was a family thing. Oh, sweetie, sweetie, I didn't mean that. Yes, you did. You know, Fran, Josh never wanted me here. Allison doesn't take me seriously. I know you love me, but if I'm not part of your family, what's my place here? God, if I knew I was going to lose that argument, I would have let him sleep. <laughs> Oh, Meryl, I've never seen him this upset before. He said that he doesn't know how he fits into this family. Mm. Well, he does kind of stick out. Jew, Jew, him, Jew. <laughs> oh, that's such a headache. He wants to fit in. I mean, it'd be different if you were married or even engaged. When are you working for my mother? <laughs> Riley and I discussed it. We don't want to rush into anything. I'm just going to have to tell the kids that they have to stop listening to him, that's all. What's wrong? Oh, those pills, they tasted a little like liver. <laughs> What's the expiration date on that? I can't read it. Fran, these are canine tranquilizers. <laughs> oh, no, those are Asti's doggy downers. I'm not going to worry about it. She's only three and a half pounds. Yeah. I mean, it's highly unlikely that I'm going to get a reaction. <laughs> you better call Riley. I got your message. What happened? How is she? Well, she got a headache, and she thought she took aspirin, but she wasn't wearing her glasses because she couldn't remember where she hid them. She wears glasses? No. <laughs> the point is, she took these. Oh, no. The doggy downers? Yeah. <laughs> I called the doctor and he said she'd be okay once she slept it off. Fran, are you okay? Gee, you're handsome. <laughs> but you know, I have a boyfriend that I love very, very much. <laughs> That's why I told him that I was one year younger than I am. <laughs> Franny? Maybe. Okay, two years. <laughs> Riley, are you gonna be okay? Because I left my daughter to babysit the little one, and now I gotta go home and pull her boyfriend's tongue out of her mouth. Hi, Cassie. <laughs> All right, baby, come on. Let's get you upstairs. Okay. I was almost arrested. What? <laughs> Thank you.
What happened? You know that car that I got that was such a steal? It's because it was a stolen car. <laughs> Should have known I couldn't get a 68 Mustang for bar mitzvah money. Oh, that's okay. I only gave you half the money. The rest we invested in Macrosoft. You mean Microsoft? You wish. <laughs> she okay? Yes, she just took some doggy downers. <laughs> she wasn't wearing her glasses. So she does wear glasses. No. <laughs> All right, let's get you back to the couch, babe. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna lay you here. Oh, no, we can't. Josh walked in on me and Ted once when he was 11, and he never got any taller. <laughs> Babe, I meant I'm gonna lay you down on the couch while Josh and I talk. Oh, that's so sweet to talk to him when he hates you. Mom! <laughs> Babe, just relax, okay? Mm. Take a little nap. Mm. I don't hate you, Riley. Yes, you do. <laughs> Look, I had just dropped out of medical school, and I knew my mom had made some changes, but I didn't expect to find... The himbo doing the mommy limbo? <laughs> Riley, you gotta believe me. It is much catchier when you hear it sung. <laughs> and thanks, Mom. I just don't think your mom's home right now. It's okay. Oh, I'll go get her. <laughs> Give me a hand, would you? Hey, honey, come up now. Sit up, there you go. Where'd the floor come from? <laughs> hey, Josh, how about we find you another car? I'll take you where I got my truck. I can even lend you the down payment. Really, you'd, you'd do that for me, Riley? Sure. <laughs> well, thanks. But I, I think I'm actually gonna borrow the money from my dad. That way, if I can't pay him back, well, he already thinks I'm a loser, and, and you and I have to live together. <laughs> oh, now you see, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. And for the record, I wasn't 11, I was 16, and you told me it was just a dream. Ugh. You're not gonna believe this. I couldn't go to the movie because Dad had an emergency surgery to perform. You know, I was married to your father. Nothing good came out of it. <laughs> Hello? She doesn't mean you, Allison. She took some dog pills by accident. Fine, well, I'm gonna go call Becca, ask if her dad will take us to see Ghost Lover. Oh, that's okay. I'll drive ya. <laughs> Allison, you're not going to the movie. What? My dad was fine with it. Well, your dad's not here right now. And I'm saying no. Why <laughs> can't you do that? I think I just did. Mommy! Let this be a lesson to you. Your father will always flake out, but Riley will be here to tell you you can't go. <laughs> so we're straight? No movie? You're not my father. Why do you even care? Just because I do, okay? Just because he does. <laughs> Fine. You know what? My mother is divorced. She's dating a guy half her age. She's popping pills, and you're worried a cartoon's gonna mess me up? Have a good night. <laughs> you know, she has a point. Hey, Riley. I'm going to a concert on Friday with Beck and her parents, if that's all right with you, oh, great master and commander of 1342 Willow Glen Circle. Sure, as long as I can talk to him first. So it shall be done, mighty, mighty Pharaoh. <laughs> Later, lassie. <laughs> well, you two seem to be getting along. Yeah. I should get doped up more often. <laughs> oh, look, Mom's awake. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. We gotta hit the road, Riley. I found a white cabriolet convertible. Oh. Are you living in the dorms this year, Debbie? <laughs> See, this is why you're coming with me. I'll meet you in the truck. You bet. Mm, well.
Well, look at you, all smiles, being part of the family. Mm. You got what you wanted. Mm. Happy anniversary. Mm. Mm. I got you something too, babe. Ooh, will I look sexy wearing it? I think so. Glasses. <laughs> What's for Christmas, the hearing aids? <laughs> How'd you know I needed glasses? Well, yesterday my orange juice was egg beaters. <laughs> then you took doggy downers for your headache. I figured I'd give you these before you gargle with tidy bowl. <laughs> well, thank you. How do I look? Let's just say I'm hot for teacher. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs>